This is not financial advice. I'm recording my thoughts about STEM. STEM is an intelligent energy storage network provider which provides both hardware as well as the software. For the hardware, they source it from other original equipment manufacturers and sell it to the client. And they offer a artificial intelligence platform software, Athena, which apparently can optimize the energy usage for their clients and also help with cost savings. When STEM went public, their management said they can get to almost a billion dollars of revenue by 2025. And then they also said that this Athena software platform will start making a lot of money that is very high margin from 2025 and onwards. So that built a lot of hype into this stock. All time high for this stock is about $40, but it's currently trading at about $4.6 with a market cap of about $700 million. In this video, we're going to find out whether it is in the oversold territory or it is going to zero. When I looked into the income statement, STEM tripled its revenue from 2020 to 2021, and it again tripled its revenue from 2021 to 2022. With the momentum in the renewable energy sector and it tripling its revenue for two consecutive years, I got excited and I bought this stock at about $7. As you can see on my screen, I own about 200 shares of this stock at about $7.03. Uh, needless to say, I'm down about 35% and I regret buying this stock without looking into the details of its financials like balance sheet, gross margins, etc. But let's look at the financials of this company. In the recent quarter, they made about $67.4 million of revenue, which is good. But the gross margin is in the order of 1%. Whenever I look into gross margins less than 20%, I get worried because they are probably giving these products at a break-even price and they still have to pay their employees and there are operating costs, right? So how are these companies going to make any profit if the gross margin is 1%? And if I had seen this before, I wouldn't have bought into this stock, but for the outlook, they're saying 550 to $650 million of revenue in 2023. In 2022, they made about $360 million of revenue. So this guidance represents more than 50% growth, but at the moment, they really need to focus on the profitability because they are burning cash at a very fast pace. The gross margin shown on the screen is actually non-GAAP, but we care about the GAAP gross margin. And GAAP gross margin for this company would still be in the single digits in 2023. And I look into the cash and cash equivalents along with short-term investments, they are about $200 million. Since they are burning close to $40 million a quarter, that's only good for about five quarters. The number of outstanding shares are about 155 million for this company, but recently they offered green convertible senior notes for $240 million and they're at a 4.25% interest and they are due at April of 2030. So there are mixed opinions about this transaction and out of this 240 million, as you can see on my screen, they're trying to put about $106 million on their balance sheet, which will help them um, continue their business and they're paying off a previous debt that's uh, November 2028 convertible notes. Apparently they can handle 163 million principal amount at only hundred million dollars. So, um, and they're also purchasing capped calls for about 28 million and they're saying they want to mitigate dilution because of these calls. So we have to see how this is going to play out in future, but anytime a company raises money uh, to pay for expenses, it is not a good sign for the shareholders because it's going to cause dilution. So overall, this is a company that's burning $40 million a quarter. The operating expenses are going significantly higher. The gross margin is in the order of 1%, which tells me that they don't have any moat in their business. So for this reason, I cannot even do a valuation. For example, if they had 20% gross margin, I can put a 10% net profit margin in future. But if they are showing me 1% gross margin, I do not think they can ever make a profit at this pace unless they change something really significant. So unless they show me 20% gross margins in future, I don't think this company's business model is sustainable. So at the moment, I'm looking for an opportunity to sell these stocks. Whenever I see a dead cat bounce, I see this company going to zero. 
unless something really changes. So what I'm going to do is to sell my position as quickly as possible. And then I'm going to follow this company's journey in the coming quarters to see how they are progressing their growth. And based on that, I'll probably make a decision to re-enter this stock or just leave it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.